Okay, sorry we got cut off there. I'm um, going to continue, of course, working on that uh, drop it. And I did find a toy that he is interested in. Rainbow! Rainbow! Sit. No, sit. No, sit. Rainbow, sit. That's a good boy. All right, so I'm going to ask him to wait. Rainbow, wait. Problem, I guess, would be about right here. Yep, there we go. Okay, so this would be the point when you ask him to drop it, and I really want to avoid pulling him towards me. Because as you can see, when you go like this, and all of a sudden it turns into a big game. So I'm going to distract him with some high value treats, meaning that these treats are much more valuable than this toy here. Drop it. Good, drop it. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. All right, so when you have that really awesome toy that he absolutely adores and he does not want to give it to you, absolutely no way he's going to hand that thing over, use those high value treats, make it a habit to where it's obviously more valuable for him to, uh, in his mind, um, that you have the lamb treats or whatever treats you may have for him at home, and then the toy is just second fiddle. Which? Which? Good boy! Good boy, Rainbow! Drop. Good. Sit. Good. Good boy. Leave it. Good boy. So asking him to leave it when you know he's staring at that object, he wants to go get it again. Wait. So I'm asking him to wait. Good boy, good wait. Good wait, Bo. Really gonna get into it. Gonna reach down, drop. Good boy. Uh -uh. Good boy. Good. Good wait. So we're using a whole string of commands here because I know he's really smart and he loves showing off and he's doing a great job of that right now. The leave it and the wait and the fetch. He's doing excellent, excellent. special toy that you have at home that's completely different in value um, compared to the new toy that he has over here. Um, so when you do find that he is extremely fixated, he does not want to go back, uh, bring you the toy or drop it, or if he, you know, is really quick to do that rebound and just grab that ball or toy back again, remember 
having those high value treats so we're not trying to uh, scold him or anything like that because it is a game and you also want it to be a positive experience for him. So avoid scolding him or the nose or anything and do have him uh, uh, his, uh, uh, bleh, <laughs> his attention redirected back to you so he knows that hey I can't do anything fun until uh, you know I let mom have my ball or my toy and when those times come when he gets really, really, really fixated, use those high value treats to distract him. Hey, you know, look at me up here. We're still doing this. We're not only fixated on the toy. But um, let me know how everything goes with that and also with the digging. Would love to find out more about that and uh, talk to you guys. Uh, but Rainbow did really well and I'm glad he found a toy that he liked here. <laughs> But um, it's been Nicole here with Rainbow. Did a brief little snippet about the digging for a second there. And uh, also trying to uh, practice drop it with a toy that he likes. It took me a little bit to find one, but finally did. And uh, we'll see you guys later. Bye.